step into the world of GBA Enterprises, Dominica's leading beverage supplier with quality and variety meat. Our vision is to exceed your expectations with an exciting selection of beverages from the finest wines to unique spirits and beers. Discover our commitment to bringing you the best with a focus on enhancing your business and personal experiences. Join us at GBA Enterprises and taste the difference quality makes. Visit us on 106 C Independent Street in Rosa, Dominica. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, it's your juicy girl Cranberry, and it's another episode of Parley with Cranberry. And today I am so excited because I have a phenomenal woman here with me as my guest, Mrs. Kimara Matthew, the CEO of Blossom Dominica. I'm going to allow her to tell you guys a bit about herself and what her brand represents. So Kimara, tell the people a little bit about you and Blossom Dominica. Hello, hello, Kimara Matthew here. I am, like Cranberry rightfully said, CEO of Finesse and the Blossom Dominica. But today we're here to talk about Blossom Dominica and it's all about promoting culture, heritage, and telling our story as islanders, as Caribbean people, as entrepreneurs, as creatives. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a timely decision, a timely initiative for us to use our passion to have a positive impact on our community and our island by extension. So tell us a little bit more about Blossom Dominica and what does this specific brand stands for? Because I know you are involved in a lot of things, but today we're talking <laughs> Blossom Dominica. So tell us a little bit more about Blossom Dominica. What is the aim that you are looking to achieve with that specific brand? Blossom Dominica is really a baby waiting to blossom. She represents Dominica. She represents where we are today. We have gone through so many layers and we are still going through layers. However, we are still blossoming. Blossom Dominica is really about us, who we are. Creatives, designers, florists. It's really about our story. It's really about our heritage and our identity. So persons who are living abroad, persons who have migrated to the States, to Canada, and all over the globe, who really want to connect back home, can utilize our platform, Blossom Dominica to do just that. We don't just sell fashion, sell Creole wear and headpieces, but we use the platform to connect the dots. So persons who are overseas that are feeling somewhat alone or this detached from home, they can go on there and they can just connect. So we post things that are Dominica based, things that we do during season. So we know during, during Carnival, we are all about being all there and enjoying, um, you know, the activities. We know during Christmas, we are doing sorrel juice and mm -hmm, we are mm -hmm. making hams. We share all of these experiences on our social media platforms just to let people know that, hey, we are all in this together. Though you might be thousands of miles away, but you're still Dominican. This is who you are. You will always yes. be Dominican. So we, we felt like this was a platform that really, really was essential and we are really proud to say that persons have connected in ways that we never thought that we could. So besides persons ordering online, I mean, just imagine you having to represent Dominica at an event and you cannot go to Amazon and purchase a Creole wear yeah. or Ted Cassie. No, we have our own little Amazon that is blossoming into her greatness where you can go and you can order a Creole wear, you can order a warp, you can order a Ted Cassie. Yeah, that's and amazing. This, this is amazing. It has never been an option before, and today we are really pleased, and we, we are we are really proud that we are we were able to execute this so beautifully. And um, of course, Afro Caribbean, which is what's happening now, um, is right in keeping with our mandate. And our mandate for Blossom is our story, mm -hmm. our heritage, our identity. We all have a story. Dominica has a story, Cranberry has a story, uh, of course, Kimara <laughs> has a story, and it's all about us. You know, it's a place for us to just come and just be our own. So this is what Blossom Dominica is really about. It's okay. all about us. 
so you've told us a little bit about Blossom Dominica, mm. but now tell us a little bit about Kimara, the oh, woman Lord. behind <laughs> Blossom Dominica. Tell us a little bit about yourself and why you decided that this was something that you wanted to take on. How important is it to you that this aspect of your journey, because you do a lot of things besides just that, how important is it? for you that people embrace Blossom Dominica? Whenever I'm asked that question, who am I? <laughs> <laughs> I normally try to wrap it up because like you rightfully said, I have, I do a lot. Yeah. But I, I always respond by saying, I am I'm one who have embraced the three Fs. And it's not what you think. Some people might, they might, might doing a little bit now. <laughs> so tell us what are the three Fs. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> It's fitness, mm -hmm. it's fashion, and family. Okay. Those three things can summarize who I am and the things that really bring joy to my heart. One of the other things that really give me reason for me to continue is being able to share my knowledge, share my passion with others. And Blossom Dominica really gave me that opportunity to be able to utilize the things that really bring joy to me mm -hmm. to impact other people. So we have our sewing training program that, of course, um, we have targeted unemployed persons. And this is me saying, hey, I'm skilled. I was self-taught. I was able to do um, formal training afterwards. But I wanted to start from the ground up. I remember in college, my one of my teachers saying, if you start from the ground up, you can't go, can't go further. You're already on the ground. Yeah. You can only go up. Oh. And this is something that's stuck with me. It has never left me. Mr. Bruni, Mr. Redden Bruni. And at that time, I did telecoms and electronics um, at the Dominica State College. That was many moons ago. Yeah. And this stuck with me. So, um, so that was one of the things that stuck with me. And um, like I said, um, Blossom Dominica really gave me an opportunity for me to really have an impact. Um, I think as successors, I think one of our mandates should always be to extend a, a hand, um, always to give. And I think it's it's an, an opportunity for us to plant good seeds into the universe. Yeah. And we may not really benefit, but guess what? We have children who are who are there. So when we leave, it sets a nice concrete platform for them. So Cranberry might not might not remember. Not, she may remember what I've done. She may not say thank you. She might not say Kimari, you know, I'm going to do this for you. But guess what? 10, 20 years down the line, she so may see my son. Say. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, she she gets an opportunity to be kind to me because I did this for her and I did that for her. So, um, like you said, I, I wear many hats, I do a lot, but um, Blossom Dominica is really a place that um, I think many people can go and really connect. You know, they can go and share, and um, of course, a mandate like. What's your story? Mm -hmm. Who are you? Your yeah. identity, you know? I think it's really huge and I think Blossom Dominica is really coming to herself. She's still a baby, she's three months old. Okay. Yes, she's still a baby, she's still a baby, but I see big things for Blossom. Um, I remember somebody asking me a question and I said, Blossom Dominica, this is a big name, you know? <laughs> um, Finesse is the mother, Blossom is a baby, but um, Blossom, I believe Blossom may just take over, I think. I see Blossom just taking over everything. Okay, and on that note, you have an event coming up. Um, I would assume, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> but I would assume that it is the first event that Blossom Dominica is going to put on. So tell us a little bit about the event and what um, patrons who come to the event can expect. All right, so Blossom... Blossom is hosting its second production. Okay. We launched well, the well, Blossom <laughs> for three months you, has been doing a lot of things. Girl. <laughs> well, all right then. So Blossom launched on the 3rd of December. Okay. 2023. And we launched a fashion show. This is our second production. And Afro-Caribbean is really tying in the mandates that really speaks of our story. And of course, even before we speak of our story, Dominica has a story. And so we've given Dominica that platform to tell her story. And we are dating back to slavery. We're connecting the dots to emancipation and our independence. And we are stopping right where we are right now. 
Okay. And so Blossom is going to be the precursor to Afro-Caribbean and it's giving Afro-Caribbean permission to tell Dominica's story through fashion. Okay. That sounds so interesting. I'm telling so you. So tell us a little bit because I know that you are a fashion designer. You have like your own line and stuff like that. Mm. I've been following you the oh. same way you follow me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about some of the pieces of fashion that we can expect to see on the night of the event. So Cranberry is trying to get me in trouble, but I, I'm, I'm going to play smart, okay? <laughs> So on the 6th of April, 2024, we are going to put on a showcase for you. We have a combination of pieces from traditional wear to contemporary. We have Afrocentric pieces. We are going to really be displaying Afroism or the splendor. Okay. And we are also going to be embracing our authenticity as black women. So. I know we women, we like to be well made up and we like to make sure that we know everything is, but on the 6th of April, we are really going to be showing our true skin. We are going to be bringing out our black. We are going to be embracing our melanin and we are going to be doing this in such a beautiful way that you too would want to embrace who you are. Your melanin, I like your Kalinago, even if you're Cuban, you know, we're just going to have a beautiful mix. and. Some core models are also in students. Okay. We actually have persons who are African Decent. descent as part of the because we really want it to be a mix. Afro Caribbean is really all of us. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't want to just have Dominicans as part of the event. We really wanted I have a Cuban client who just got married. I did her wedding dress for her and she was one of those that I really wanted to have on the run because she brings that vibe. Mm -hmm. You know, she, she she speaks English, she speaks Spanish, and she just has this beautiful energy that really is just really um, attractive, you know? And so, um, unfortunately, she's traveling before the event and on oh. the too. But I know that if anything happens and they cancel, she would. She, I'm making an outfit for her overnight, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> So um, on the 6th of April, you can be guaranteed to get a show that is amazing. We are tying Dominica's story with our story, and we are going to put on a beautiful, amazing production. Alongside with that, we are also going to be partnering, or should I say, joining forces with other entrepreneurs. So we okay. have Cameron Sanders. That was going to be my next question. Yes. <laughs> we have Cameron Sanders. Cameron Sanders is going to be displaying his apps on the red carpet. Okay. We also have Lani. Lani's creation. She's very good with hair. Um, and the reason why we pulled in Lani is because many of us wear cornrows, but we don't know that there's a story behind cornrows. Mm -hmm. And on the 6th of April, we are going to be... You're going to expose that story? Exposing that story. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can't wait. Let me tell you about it. And we also have... We also have Liz who does the beautiful straw bags, as well as Belle's hats. You know, we, I, I think most of us know Leslie, who mm -hmm. works at Dupini at one time. He does the beautiful fascinators and he does the beautiful hats. He's going to be one of those entrepreneurs who are going to be with us on the 6th of April. So it's Blossom is really about us. Mm -hmm. It's not about mm -hmm. Kimara, it's not about Cranberry. Yeah. It's really about us. And our motto, our slogan is we are stronger together. So on that day, we are going to be showing strength. We are going to be showing that we can actually put a hand there and a hand there and it really put and it, it it seems like the event will be showcasing you know a lot of different aspects of our culture and what actually makes us who we are exactly. which is amazing exactly, exactly. <laughs> and you it, it's great that you brought on other entrepreneurs in the space in the creative space mm -hmm. because we don't often see a lot of creatives in dominica collaborating with each other to make you know something amazing exactly. so i cannot wait for april 6th to attend this and event I wait too. and um for those who have not gotten tickets to the event yet please tell them how they can do so so tomorrow what should i say this evening this evening we're going to we're going to launch a promotion the first 50 or should i say someone 
from the first 50 is going to get a free makeover. So mm -hmm. if you buy your ticket on Saturday from Blossom Dominica headquarters, that is on King George, that everybody knows the location, mm -hmm. you will get a chance to win a free makeover compliment Blossom Dominica. And it takes that only $50. Um, we Initially, we were looking at VIP, VVIP, and so on. And then we, we, we sort and thought, mm -mm. we are all VIP. Yeah. We decided we're going to have one reasonable price where everybody feels comfortable. I mean, of course, we can't please everybody, but I don't think that there has ever been an event where you go for $50. Mm -hmm. This doesn't even exist anymore. But we are thinking of you because this is really about you, it's about me. And so we want to make it reasonable. We want to make it reasonable so that persons can just come and just really be blown away by that production. I mean, I don't think that we have many events that is tailored really yeah. about us, about our culture, our heritage, who are we? Many of us don't even know who are we, who we are. Exactly. So it's really about learning how we can promote and embrace our culture and how we can collaborate. Collaboration is not something that we embrace as Caribbean people. Uh, uh, which is what I just said. Exactly. <laughs> but I think it's time. In this, in this climate, we cannot do it on our own. We really have to join forces and network together. Step into the world of GBA Enterprises, Dominica's leading beverage supplier with quality and variety meat. Our vision is to exceed your expectations with an exciting selection of beverages from the finest wines to unique spirits and beers. Discover our commitment to bringing you the best with a focus on enhancing your business and personal experiences. Join us at GBA Enterprises and taste the difference quality makes. Visit us on 106 C Independent Street in Rosa, Dominica. So in that same vein, when we're speaking of networking, for the people who have not clicked in to Blossom Dominica as a yet, let them know what your social media handles are so that they can, you know, join your community and engage and, you know, stay informed on awesome. what you're doing. Awesome. So our Facebook page name is Blossom Dominica. If you type it in, you're going to see the butterfly. And there's a story behind the butterfly as well. So we are going to be releasing that on the 6th of April. And a Cranberry TV will be there to give you okay. all <laughs> what's happening, you know? <laughs> you should be there too. Don't make Cranberry give you second information. You need to come and get your own information first. Hand, correct. <laughs> okay. Correct is right. Um, and our Instagram, Blossom Dominica again. Um, we've not yet delved into TikTok. We are still working on that. Of course, I am. My generation is not has not yet um, gotten to I TikTok. Know, right? Yeah, um, I feel <laughs> I feel Stone Age, but it's, it is what it is. I'm old school, and um, so for now we are we have embraced the first two mentioned platforms, which is Facebook, Facebook and, Instagram. and Instagram. Okay. Yes. So guys, definitely check out Kimara. Like us, follow on, us, comment. Um, Facebook and Instagram Blossom Dominica and I feel like she probably wants to leave her other ventures private because she's not mentioning them <laughs> so we'll just stick Which to one Blossom one are we looking because at? You, you have finesse you have your own personal brand like this woman is a fashion designer mm -hmm. she's Except not telling them. you she's not telling you all that <laughs> but she is this is why she even probably came up with Blossom Dominica because I'm sure um, on the runway most of the pieces that we're gonna all see on display is from her production all of them. All of them. but it seems like she wants to remain <laughs> mute on that side of her life so you know what let me just take the opportunity <laughs> for me to just go in there you know I want you to make it about Blossom and not me but you know I, I guess I guess it, it's fitting that I I say who Kimara is. Exactly. So like she writes for the said, I am a fashion designer, I am a health guru. Um, you, you might see me jogging on Bath Estates. Um, you may see me jogging, jogging on Bath Estates Hill. You may see me jogging on Bon Bruce. Um, I'm also a mother. Um, so besides fashion, I'm, I, am, I embrace family. Um, I'm also the owner of Finesse Beauty, which is a fashion studio. It's a two-tier business. So we do production in fashion. We do also do rentals of wedding dresses, prom dresses. Uh, of course, we know prom is a right around the corner. Um, May, 
June is the heat of prom and persons have already been reaching out and sending their designs and so you also can send your design um, we also do first communion and confirmation we rent that the only thing we don't rent is shoes and undergarments so guys you see she's doing a lot of things <laughs> that she was not even speaking about and i'm also a teacher as well i teach fashion i do currently i do private tutoring so i do one-on-one -on -one. so if you want to learn um, how to blend your colors you know you want to learn how to mix your fashion you want to know how to construct a simple dress from scratch if you want to build on your skills and you want that one-on-one -on -one attention you can contact me how can they contact you yes my whatsapp my telephone everything is one as you know i'm old school so i don't have the the band before how much difference <laughs> so give us the number <laughs> it's 315 7171 that is my whatsapp that is my call everything is right there you can if you have any questions about the show you can call if you want to find out about our classes you can call and find out about that okay well kimara thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to speak to me because i know like we were in a back and forth and it was a like a hectic day by there a hectic this by there but we finally got to connect and i'm so happy i look forward to the event on april 6th i will be there of course i will make content for you guys but you guys should be there as well so go ahead and get your tickets it only costs 50 only eastern 50 caribbean dollars come to the event on april 6th um take a journey into who we are um where we've com come from and where we are now i feel like it is going to be an amazing event if you have not done so yet remember to subscribe to my channel hit that bell so you get post notifications every time i upload another video like this one um but thank you so much for your time kimara you and so do you have time. any last words for our viewers last words hmm this is just the beginning you know this is just the beginning <laughs> but i would just like to encourage persons to come out and support not just me but the other entrepreneurs um, we have a, a beautiful contingency of creatives and uh, without you we we are we are nowhere so we'd like to, to welcome you um into our space you know family as long as you're you're listening to this this um, yeah. live you you are family and we also like to invite you to join us for this red carpet event um on the six many of us always complain that there's nothing to do yeah to go over heels are under the bed and the dry routine <laughs> well this is an opportunity for you to wear those heels okay so you can start dusting them off try them to make sure that they have not dry on yeah. yet and you know all the touch of earrings that you may have in your in your collection get that ready for the 6th of april 4 30 p.m at the realm okay so thank you so much guys for clicking on another one of my videos i look forward to seeing you guys at the realm on april 6th for kimara's event and go ahead and follow blossom dominica on all their social media platforms can so that you can stay up to date with what they are doing and you can stay in the know okay. and i'm gonna catch you guys obviously in another video okay but bye. before before we say bye 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 bye, bye. <laughs> okay go ahead let me just hit up one of my platinum sponsors which is the raz raz fabrics are in portsmouth all the amazing pieces that you're going to be seeing on the 6th of april you can get them at raz in portsmouth so of course we know jazz is right around the corner yeah and you're thinking of what am i going to wear um do i do the blend of and creole? jazz this year is yes. with uh, the creole fusion so, so hello this is more reason for you to come to the event because we are going to be have we're going to be having jazz worthy pieces and we're going to be also incorporating afro so we know that some persons may have reservations towards the madras which is okay but i mean when you see them on the runway you're going to want them all right yeah so if you still do we have pieces in afro prints and those pieces can be can be purchased at Raz in personal other other pieces that they're going to be seeing they can place their order and we're going to be having a a little um interlude where persons can actually order on the spot and we're going to have them for sale so every piece on the runway is going to be sellable so you don't come with just your drinks money come yeah with your, your, come your, with your fashion money okay, too make sure. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> uh, but Kimara, thank you so much for your time and I look forward to the event. I look forward to attending the event. Remember to smash that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get post notifications every time I upload a new video. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.